Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Great, great, great. All right. Again, wild rice is going to be lower than starch, which contains acid, which is where disease likes to live. Shout out to Florida. Shout out to New Mexico. Shout out to Tennessee. Shout out to Indiana. Shout out to Mississippi, Alabama, Fresno, Cali, London in the building, Chicago in the building. Who else we got? Kansas, Bronx in the building, New Orleans, Minnesota, London again. Texas in the building, Houston, Texas, New Orleans twice, Virginia Beach, Mississippi. Yeah, so again, if you're just joining, we talked about, somebody asked about fibroids, how to get rid of fibroids. It's gonna be Black Mission Figs, eat those daily. Then we talked about diabetes. Four things you can do to reverse, get rid of, prevent diabetes. It's gonna be 1,000 milligrams per day of vitamin C, which you can get from kale, that's a great source. It's also in kiwi and oranges, of course. So that's one thing, vitamin C. Second thing, increase your omega-3s, which you get from your avocados. All right, that's gonna help you if you have diabetes, if you're looking to prevent it, if you're borderline, anything like that. Next thing is gonna be magnesium, right? Which you get from nuts and seeds, right? So increase your magnesium intake. And then the last thing is gonna be increase your selenium. Because what we find is anybody who suffers from diabetes, pre-diabetic, they have low selenium. You get your selenium from walnuts. All right? So, yeah. And anybody who has a diet high in omega-3s early in the day, they retain information a lot better, which is why people, cultures, who have a diet high in omega-3s early in the day lead the world in technology, right? The Asian community leads the world in technology. Why? Because they eat salmon and avocados for breakfast while we're eating processed, sugary cereal we're giving to our children. Bacon, pork, nonsense, right? So there's a tip for you. If you're looking to gain weight while being vegan, it doesn't matter. You increase your calories, but increase your calories eating good foods, not harmful foods just because you want to gain weight and build muscle. Because just because you got muscle don't mean you're healthy. Good thing you can do, you can drink as far as the water question, is mountain spring water. It doesn't have to say alkaline on the bottle because when it says alkaline on the bottle, a lot of times they can use chemicals to make that water alkaline. So when you turn your water on, it has 10 ingredients that you can't pronounce, but it says alkaline, that doesn't mean it's good for you. You'd be better off getting plain mountain spring water that you turn around and has no ingredients on the bottle, right? And then you can add pink Himalayan salt to it to ma actually make it alkaline. So these are things you can do. Kangen water is fine. If you got four to 7,000 to buy a Kangen water machine, which most people don't. So that's why just to simply make it alkaline, add pink Himalayan salt. When you're dealing with salts, stop messing with white salt. Stop messing with white flour. Stop messing with white sugar. This ain't a racist thing, it's just facts, right? <laughs> White sugar is trash. If you need a sweetener, your best sweetener is going to be a full date, right? Then your next best thing is going to be pure agave nectar, organic agave nectar. It's low on the glycemic index. All right. Shout out to Dominican Republic. I just posted a video on honey. Honey is bee throw up, right? So a lot of people will be like, you know, I'm vegan, but they eat honey every day. And then also with honey, you know, you're against cow's milk because you're like, that's, that's milk for baby cows, not humans. But the honey is the food for baby bees. And it's just vomit. It's sweet vomit that the baby bees eat. That's like their milk for the baby bee to grow big and strong and keep functioning, right? So, yeah, black mission figs for fibroids. Big thing you want to do is get that overall body fat percentage down though. High body fat is the number one cause of almost every disease. Because when you have high body fat, you're eating in too much of a caloric surplus, you're not being active enough. And what you're eating in a caloric surplus is bad foods that are spiking your high blood pressure, your high cholesterol. Yeah, your blood sugar levels are all out of whack. And you're wondering why we have all these issues. 
So hopefully this is helpful. But yeah.